Establishing a truly global public relations firm was the most important business decision I have ever made. Geneva was our first overseas office. We opened there in 1961. Four years later, after half of our clients moved their corporate headquarters to Brussels, we established our second overseas office there. We started with a dozen people or so. Brussels, staffed largely by Brits, but with a few Americans, including Bob Leaf, who became our international chairman. One of the greatest contributions of our Brussels office was that it served as an incubator for future offices, mostly Brits we hired from trade magazines. Chris Fisher went to Paris, Eric Shogun of Sweet to Frankfurt, and others moved to Tokyo, Sydney, and Toronto. As it is today, Brussels was a Pan-American office from the outset, working with clients, placing articles, and media throughout Europe. For about two decades, it was our largest office in Europe, especially after we joined up with Robinson Linton and gained a public affairs capacity. Today, it makes me especially proud that we are regarded as the number one public affairs consultancy serving the European Union. That, I believe, is a unique distinction which characterizes our objectives from the outset to be the public relations, public affairs firm that all others are measured against. My thanks to each and every one of you for your contribution in creating and upholding this distinction. And I especially want to recognize and thank the hundreds of clients who have chosen us as their partners. I celebrate with you our 50th anniversary milestone. Congratulations.